something turned up. Oh. Hey guys, it's Avery, and I'm here with Matthew Daddario and Alberto Resende from Shadowhunters, aka Alec and Simon. Yeah, and they're great. here to talk about season two of Shadowhunters, which premieres January 2nd on Freeform. So, everyone is saying season two is going to be darker, so expand on that a little bit. Well, we, uh, we think that uh, in general, the, what were we saying earlier? The, the, the issue. They've, uh, the issue with that is we don't want to, oh. uh, tonally it may be because of what happens, but it's more, darker is not as specific as we'd like to be. We like to say you get to go deeper into each character's journey. Each char uh, we kind of ground it a little more in, um, in reality. Look, the first yeah. season, the first season, the Shadowhunters had control of their world, mm -hmm. and uh, in general, the the, the enemies were sort of on the run, or they were sort of hiding in the shadows. In the second season, the Shadowhunters are actually struggling far more than everybody else. Yeah. And uh, their kind of weaknesses uh, are revealed and, and definitely exploited. Uh, Downworlders do quite a good job of causing trouble for people. So yeah. does Valentine and the rest of the, the, the married band of, of monsters. And then because of what's going on around like the story, each character kind of has to attach themselves to like their relationships. Their relationships right. become more important. Um, maybe not more important, but they become like they're maybe their main focus, other yeah. than other than what they're trying to do for the entire world. You get to see a little bit more of that play out, like who they who they care about, what they care about. Yeah, and it, like the missions don't become quite as clear. Mm -hmm. uh, like everybody's sort of struggling with their own personal issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm sure. Very and exciting. so you know, everything sort of fell apart at the end of the last season, except for a few instances. Mm -hmm. You know, Jace is with Valentine now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simon's a vampire and a lot to deal with. So tell me a little bit about Simon and how he's going to be adjusting to being a vampire in season two. Um, in essence, he kind of goes back to being in the same place as the beginning of season one where he was trying to find his place and find out who he was with this new group of people. He's doing it again now. Oh man, the first, like, in the first four episodes, you I forgot about all that stuff. <laughs> I've been hearing you talk about it. I'm like, what is he talking Oh yeah, there's some really, yeah, you get, mm, <laughs> mm -mm. No, it's it's mm -mm. like a really hard world for him yeah. now. He's trying to figure out how to be a vampire in this new circumstance with no place to go. How it he's going to deal with his family. Gross. gross? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it, he has to, in order to survive in the mundane world, he has to take steps to ensure that people don't get hurt. Okay. Or to ensure that he can try to live as normally as possible. But that proves very difficult when you're a vampire who can't eat other than blood, who can't go out in the sun, who can't have a normal life. Right. In a world where um, you, the people that you love that don't know of the shadow world expect that. Yeah. And he doesn't want to, you know, disappoint his mom mm -hmm. by being a vampire. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He knows what that revelation was for him, and that was him. He can't imagine what the people he loves would know if he was this monster that he found out about. It's. He goes through a lot. Simon's. Mm -hmm. Simon's got a lot on his plate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so for. Alec, now that Jace is with Valentine, mm -hmm. what kind of struggles can we expect to see from him? Well, obviously Alec is not a huge fan of that. Uh, at the end of the season, though, I'm sure that he, he, he sort of questioned if Jace was going for some ulterior motive or if he in fact was uh, interested in sort of meeting his potential father. Yeah. And uh, so that causes him a lot of stress, and the first three episodes or so are sort of heavily focused on him working that out, and he makes some sort of bad decisions along the way to sort of to solve that missing Jace problem. But then it works itself out, or does it? Who really knows? Because by episode four, everything's a mess. Everything's a mess. A mess again. I mean, it's, this, this season kind of, really is like, it's a lot for every character. Everyone kind of, it's not a, it's... it's I don't know how to say it without saying anything, but it's a lot. It's uh, very heavy. Okay. Yeah, nobody really gets a break. No. You can't catch a break. If you're a shadow owner especially, you get... You Simon get, gets a break. Yeah, Simon gets, Simon a, little gets break. a bit of a break. Uh, Some things go well for Simon. Yeah. I mean, sort of, but not for Alec? Alec, it's most, it's, it depends on how you look at it. There's one aspect that goes quite well, but requires a lot of effort and work. But by doing that, he's sort of missing out on other elements of his life. Because... You know how people are, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got like, you know, someone you love? Somebody, you got, you got like a squeeze? Me? Yeah, 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 you got some, some, some lady, some man, you got somebody? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, okay, right well, I mean, so she is available. But <laughs> it's, that's the struggle she's going through. So when she's looking for that, she's probably not paying enough attention at work, or maybe not paying enough attention to her mom. She doesn't call her mom. Who knows? You know, it's all of this varied. It's problems. Well, one important person in Alex's life is Magnus. 
So, yeah. and everybody wants to know more about Malik. So, what can what can you tease As about the relationship? As I said, and I will say again, it's very. Alex spends the first half of season two very heavily focused on working that relationship out. And maybe as a result of that, misses out on some other things. But nothing's really more important than finding out. You have to, you have to sometimes focus on that aspect of your life or else you'll never really be happy. So True. he does. He, well, maybe we'll see, we'll see if it works out. Yeah. So would you say fans are going to be, Malik fans will be happy with what happened in season two? As I said, season one, they're not going to be disappointed. <laughs> So another big fan of fandom is Simon and Clary. Yeah. Could they go there in season two? Do you want to see that happen? Well, I think part of Simon discovering this new vampirism within him is finding that that, that strength that vampires have. Um, and it's a big risk for him to do that because in trying to take that step, he knows he could ruin that whole relationship. Everything they have, if he really goes there, he could that he could lose Clary, and that's something that is always in the forefront of his mind. Um, I think, does he, does he, does he, uh, Simon, Simon loves, loves Clary, right? Yeah. Right. But I think that, I think that Simon lets her off easy. I think you're just so blinded by his No, love absolutely. Because, I mean, she, she completely of, ruined his life. Yeah, she and, his life. and he was, he was and able to really forgive that very, very quickly. Was, it was in a second, it was in the yeah. same scene. Yeah, yeah. I so don't hate you anymore. I'm just mad. I'm just mad about this. But you know what? Yeah, I'll get over it. You know, I have to drink blood for the rest of my life. Can't really talk to anyone during the day. Can't really see any sunsets or sunrises. But I love you. But you know what? We can hang out at night and see yeah. movies. So yeah. and also to help you. And Pizza delivery is better after after the dark. So and she doesn't really. Does she come to help? I, I want people after <laughs> season two is over, over. I want you to review the nature of Clary's relationship with Simon and see if Simon really is getting the raw end of that deal. I don't know if he is. You don't seem to be a Clary fan. Alec is not. Alec a is not a Clary fan. <laughs> and then maybe Matthew maybe doesn't seem to be. Oh, I'm. I do these interviews as Alec. Oh. I think. <laughs> well, I think I think we always do interviews kind of from our characters' perspective. Point of view. Yeah. It's, very, it's very hard to separate from that after hanging out with them for seven months. I would months. never <laughs> take Simon's point of view. It would just never no, happen. No, no, you wouldn't. No. And I would. I can't see you taking Alec's point of view. You, it would be too difficult. It'd we spend, we spend difficult. five months arguing for our position, so it's like a little bit like. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna defend the vampire. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna defend, defend the shadow hunter that yeah. has everything because they're shadow hunters oh, and they're in charge. That. And That's down rollers have to figure everything out, and there's a whole other. It's tough being a shadow hunter. Don't you yeah, know? it is, and it's tough being a vampire it's too. Tough being a vampire, especially vampire politics, which we learned. Oh, but you get to live on like the outskirts of society. We have to work within this ridiculous regimented regime. Not by choice. Like well, Simon gets kicked out, so Simon can't live with the other vampires. They don't like him. Yeah, but it makes you—it makes you like a wild man. Like yeah, but, then he has to, but then he has to hang out with like werewolves for a bit, and they're, they're not. Very I don't friendly. see the problem with this. They're, they're not cool. They're yeah, not they cool are. with him. They're like—they are cool with you eventually. Hopefully, yeah, they get there, but it takes a lot. It's not like Simon's always cool, so they're always just kind of annoying. <laughs> it's tough out there to be a shadow hunter. It's just it's tough out there. It's right? tough out there. It's it's just tough. 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 No, one, no one gets a break this season. No one gets. No one really has it easy at all. Everyone has their own personal demons. <sighs> that's life. Fight. That is yeah. life. That's, that's life. life. That's, that's, that's really what they should be saying. We're not going to say it's darker. We're just saying that it's a better representation of real life, where everything at every turn just makes things more and more difficult. More and there's no real break. And you just struggle and you struggle, and eventually maybe you'll find little moments where you can be happy or, or things will work out, but they're just temporary. It's fleeting. Every moment of goodness in But your those life. moments are so great that you fight for them every single chance you get. That's right, and that's what that's, you do. That's, that's the purpose life. of life there. So Shadowhunters represents life almost perfectly. We just have supernatural <laughs> elements that make it seem a little more yeah. heightened. Yes. Everything's heightened. Heightened is a good word. Heightened. Uh, <laughs> so Maya is a big character yes. in the books. Yes. And she is going to be in season two. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that and what can we expect from Simon and Maya's relationship. We know Simon and Maya have a cool relationship in the books. Yeah. They get along really well. Um, Simon finds another down roller who kind of understands his journey in the sense that she wasn't before, gets turned into a werewolf and kind of has to figure out her place. So that's where her and Simon really connect. And it's something that even, it, it causes tension for Clary because Simon finds this other person that he can really confide in and find. <laughs> jealous. Um, yeah, she gets a little jealous. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but, um, I forgot about all that. Also, one thing I think is cool about a lot of the downrollers is how important the other downrollers are. Like, their own species of downrollers are. So that creates tension when it comes time to fight. 
who do you fight for? Like, just making sure your own species can survive, making sure the rest of the world, it's a whole thing. And Maya's, Maya's a really fun character. I think the fans are really going to enjoy seeing it. Oh, they're going to love Maya. Yeah, at least she does a great job. Yeah. So. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. And I've read that Magnus is going to be sort of taking Simon under his wing. Well, not out of his choice. Okay. But Magnus doesn't really do a lot of things out of, like... Oh. He's Magnus sort of is a really cool... Sort of you, get to learn, you get to learn more about Magnus's history. Yeah. Okay. And in that, you get to see why he's kind of okay with giving Simon more advice and kind of helping Simon out in this new world. Um, uh, Simon, Simon taking time with my man. That's not... Yeah, how, how's Alec going to feel about that? I don't know. You know, you know. Alec doesn't really get a chance to interact with Simon. Do I have no, a single we, conversation with you the entire season? <laughs> we are in the same room like twice. So that's, so that's a missed opportunity because yeah. I definitely think that I could be uh, hating on you a little bit. I, I could just be I like... Why is this guy so charming? All the time. Yeah, so so charming. So what charming. Lovely Alex, so lovely. He always wants me gone. He always he always treats me with like, you know what? It's been great to have you, but you should go. See, this is the thing. You know what it is? We can't possibly. There's so much going on that you can't possibly have everybody interact. So maybe second half they'll try and incorporate. Well, I think it's also because of where our priorities are. As a shadow hunter, and then with Magnus, your priorities are different yeah, than Simon as a down roller and a vampire, and then Clary is one of his priorities. And yeah, we're we're constantly. That's one thing that's cool. Is a lot of the paths are. Don't cross or, or you know, everyone's kind of focused on their own journey. You know what we haven't talked about? We haven't talked about Alder Tree. Alder Tree's cool. I think that the girls are going to love Alder Tree. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Please think elaborate. Alder Tree is a interloper, but a uh, very sexy interloper. Smooth. Okay. Smooth talking British man. But he's a representative of the clave. And he ha- has more of their ideals. Yeah. Which creates a lot of tension. Yeah, look, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we're we're underselling all the tree. I think all the tree is going to be a fan favorite. I think so too. Isaiah, all the tree, Alec, the <laughs> Magnus, and Simon will just stay up there. And Simon can just hang out in a hole somewhere. I'd really like to see. I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd really like to see a Simon and Alec romance happen eventually. That'll never. I don't. Think that won't happen. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, idea. <laughs> and that's why. Yeah. Never gonna happen. Not like relationship, just like a bromance. No, no, that's no, what no, I'm saying. No, no. Yeah. Which is, Absolutely which is, not. They're never gonna get along. They just, they just don't have this, the same drives. Yeah. They do, but they, they operate them in very different ways. So it's just, it's, we maybe we'll come to respect each other, maybe. Okay. Yeah, Matt likes that. Yeah, Alec, Alec is a huge fan. Yeah. <laughs> so how would you describe see, the second season in three words? Yeah. Are you gonna break it break it down in three words? I would say bloody. I, we can go to bloody. Five. Oh yeah, bloody. I would say bloody. I would say um, Don heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Oh, and God. always what do we say at the end? We say what, 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 what? I know that the, sexy. We say sexy. sexy. We say sexy. Oh, it's still sexy. it's still still very sexy. Yeah, very sexy. It's still sexy. Sexier than the first season? Yes. I would say, I would say oh, sexier than the first season for yeah. sure. <laughs> Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. Well, it's going to be sexy for show. <laughs> you heard it here first. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to me today. Mm. I'm so excited to see the second season. And remember, guys, Shadowhunter Season 2 premieres January 